Hello again Amstrad fans and uh, another long plating review tonight this time for the arcade game conversion of Vigilante onto the Amstrad and this is a pretty bog standard beat him up fare okay little title screen and music there now um, this is a long play through to the end of completion and uh, the original video was 25 minutes um, so to get it within the YouTube time limit, I've chopped uh, a fair amount out. There's uh, there's a lot of places there we just get stuck fighting bad guys in one place for ages and ages. So uh, no need to bore you with that. Anyways, to start the game, first level, and obviously it's a scrolling left to right beat him up. There's usually two uh, bad guys uh, at a time attacking you from left and right sometimes from both directions um, I've let that guy run into me and stab me there oops but um, you can get stuck in the same place for freaking ages so when you can move to the right do it as quick as you can and obviously there's a guy with a gun there he gets quite annoying because he stands a bit of a distance away from ha um, from being able to kick him don't let him shoot you of course because you lose lose about a third of your energy not sure what that is on the garage door there is that, is that prostitutes bending over in the window I don't know <laughs> it's got a range of moves though you can do jump kicks, kicks, punches, pick up weapons I think I've got one at the moment I'm using like I think they're nunchucks or something like that and uh, sa the, safest, the safest way to be is uh, basically crouching on the floor doing sort of little sweep kicks anyway I've made an edit here let's move on There's just a lot of that occurring so we'll just move on to the uh, first end of level boss and they're all pretty easy it's basically stay in one place and just hold down the fire button and let them walk into you He doesn't seem to be doing much at all. I don't think he's taking any of my energy off yet at all. Oh, he tried to do a kick there. Half a mile away from me though. Cool, and we're just standing there holding the fire button down, letting him walk into our kicks. Oh, he took a little bit of energy off there. That's it, that's stage one cleared. So yeah, you've got a, a rescue Madonna there who's been captured. Dunno if that's Madonna the pop singer <laughs> or uh, your girlfriend. Uh, more likely the latter. I'm not sure uh, Madonna herself would have uh, licensed herself to be in like a crappy beat him up like this. Now this is this is pretty much you know this is very similar to the arcade original. Um, I don't think it's really missing anything. Um, the gameplay is pretty much exactly as I remember it on the arcade. Um, pretty dull fare. Uh, I think the arcade game was a little bit more frustrating, but you know it was the same shit. You know just sort of wait to try move. Well, move a little bit by little bit to the right, and uh, just just stand there, basically doing kicks left and right, left and right. This uh, this is this ain't uh, nowhere near as good as Double Dragon or anything like that. I w I would have said this is quite an old beat em up game, but no, it's 1988. You know, uh, sorry, another jump cut there. Things have, have moved on quite a bit by then. Um. Anyway, there's five levels. You've got to rescue Madonna. Five bosses as well at the end of each level. Um, the, the gang are called the Skinheads. And the final boss, um, I believe his name's Giant Devil. Anyway, that's what Wikipedia tells me anyway. Uh, it's made by Data East. Um, what, anything else to mention, really? Uh, yeah, it was released by US Gold like Merck's in my last video um, done by a development company called Emerald uh, not, uh, I don't think I've heard of before not seen doing any other conversions again we're just standing there waiting for him to walk into our kicks 
Oh, they've done some nice backflips there. I think he managed to kill me there somehow in one blow. And, li and lost a life. Oh well. This, this is where things get a little bit more interesting because there's guys on motorcycles and that attack you and you have to do jump kicks. A bit like Target Renegade. I guess that was inspiration for him. So yeah, I was a bit delayed uh, sort of uh, doing my kick there. So this leads nicely on to um, you know the faults of the game and sort of uh, let's let's pick apart the game a bit. Um, the controls are really unresponsive. Um, there's a there's a nasty sort of delay and lag before. Uh, oops, you shot me there. It lost the concentration. Um, there's a horrible delay and lag. Um, from when we actually do a move to be actually connecting and happening, so you just have to get used to sort of uh, starting your move like a second, a second or two before you need to. But most of the time, there I'm, I'm just sat, I'm just holding the fire button down and holding a direction to do my move. There's, n there's hardly any skill involved with this game. And to be fair to the programmers, there wasn't uh, much skill involved in the original arcade original anyway. That was just frustrating nonsense, a bit like this really. It's pretty easy, but it's more of an endurance test than it is fun. Uh, the graphics, whilst uh, um, there's lots of lovely colours there, some might say it's a bit garish, and it's definitely very blocky and a little bit crude to be honest although it does a nice job of uh, um, getting the feel of the arcade game sound is okay you know for an old game the music was pretty decent on the uh, title screen though oh I'm not sure what's happening there with that uh, dude Ah, oh, he's gone now. Yeah, the animation's a little bit crude as well. It's not exactly particularly smooth either. But it does the job. Right, oh, he's jumping my sweep kicks. Right. Got some degree of intelligence in this one. Oh, he's knocking my energy off it actually. Might be a close one. No, I think we've got him. Come on. Alright, that's stage 3 of 5 done. We've got two more stages left. And uh, I think I've kind of run out of things to say about this game. So I think I'll leave my commentary here this time, and uh, I'll say like, I do like my beat-up games, even even my even the sort of the more mindless ones like uh, Final Fight. Uh, you know, they're right for a quick blast. You know, a bit of mindless fun just to distract you, especially if, if you're having a bad day or something like that, and you just want to just beat up loads of things. But then, uh, you know, games like Final Fight and Vigilante are okay for that, I suppose. Um, but you know, even so, this this is still pretty poor stuff. You can only move left and right, and uh, you can't move up and down, or you know, jump up to other levels, or uh, even weapons are a bit pointless on this. So all in all, I don't know. It's it's a four out of ten game. So thanks for watching, and see you next time. Cheers, bye.